Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to share with you my 5 tips of becoming a better frontend developer, and I hope we can do it in less than 5 minutes. Also make sure that you watch this video until the end, because I will share my bonus tip, which from my point of view is the most important part. So let's jump right into it. So here is tip number 1. First of all, you need to focus on your own stack, which means if you are working with React, for example, and you are using mostly like JavaScript in work, then you need to master both of them. So you need to fully learn the whole React ecosystem, master your JavaScript knowledge, of course HTML and CSS, if you are doing them there, but you don't need to learn new languages, or new hyped stuff, or whatever you want to learn additionally. Obviously, some things can help you in the future, for example, you want to learn TypeScript, or maybe you want to learn some other language, maybe Java, but you first need to master what you are using in your company, because this is from where you are getting money. You need to do it on the really good level, and then you can switch to other stuff, or just jump in other technology. The second point is to learn another language, but you only need to do it when you are confident with your own language. And I highly recommend for frontenders to learn some backend language, and it should not be Node. Why not Node? Because actually Node is the same JavaScript, yes it is backend, so it is other patterns and other code and so on, but it doesn't have enough good architecture and good usages to teach you something valuable. This is why I highly recommend other languages, for example Python or Ruby with Ruby on Rails. I am really a fan of learning Ruby with Ruby on Rails. It gives you the opportunities to see how fast you can build applications, how much stuff a framework can provide for you, and you get a lot of architectural patterns which show you how to do your work. Also, it is highly recommended to learn backend language, because then you can communicate with backend people better, you can understand better how projects are done, and maybe you can even do full stack, like doing uh, both frontend and backend at the same time. My tip number three is to learn some functional language, or at least functional programming. I saw a lot of people that tried functional programming, it was of course difficult at the beginning, but after some time their code improved significantly. Because functional programming teaches you a lot of patterns that you can apply later in every language, for example in JavaScript. And actually, it's completely fine if you don't want to learn another functional language, because maybe you won't use it in production and you can't earn money with it. In this case, you can still use, for example, JavaScript and try some functional libraries which will help you to improve your code. For example, I'm highly recommending a Ramda library, which is actually not super easy, but can simplify and it teaches you to write more elegant and safe code. And I have a full course regarding Ramda, and I will link it down in the description below, so go check it out also. My tip number 4 is to learn TypeScript. And if you don't know, TypeScript is the most popular solution nowadays to write strict code in JavaScript. And actually all big companies are using already TypeScript, it is super popular and yes, you need to invest some time in learning it, but it's not that difficult like learning new language, because it is still JavaScript. This is like enhanced version of JavaScript, which is really typed saved, and you don't get that many errors in runtime later. My tip number 5 is to go and check the code of other people in GitHub. You need to have quite good skills already in JavaScript, for example, to check the repos and understand the code of other projects and code of other people, but at some point it is really worth it. Because you just jump in some random project or the project that you maybe like, you check the code there, of course you need a lot of time to understand the code, it can be really difficult, but you can learn how other people are structuring their code, how to make code more elegant, and what solutions are there for you. It takes a lot of time and patience, but it's really worth it. Also, you can check pull requests of other people, maybe in your team. It also helps you to understand how other people are writing their code, and maybe later improve your own code. 
And here is my bonus tip, and I think this is the most important tip that I can give you. You really need to work on soft skills, because it doesn't matter how good you are as a programmer, if you are not reliable, or you are not friendly, or you just don't fit in the team. Because nobody cares how good you are if you can't work with people. So you really always need to see yourself from outside. Do people ask you questions? Do you help other people? Do they want to help you? Do people like to work with you? If you are getting yes for every my question, then you are doing everything right. If not, then probably you need to change a little bit your behavior or improve your soft skills. But obviously you don't need to do a lot, you just need to be friendly, polite and helpful. And it will really help you significantly to be promoted or get more money or just do your job easier because you know that other people will help you when you are helping them. I hope that these tips will help you to become a better developer. And if I forget something important, please write me down in the comments below. Also, if you want to learn more about web and programming, go and check my all advanced courses that I will link down in the description box below. And if you like this video and you want more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and put thumbs up. And if you don't like this video, then maybe try to watch it again with increased speed. And I will see you in my next video.